What's up guys, welcome to a new tutorial. Today, by the request of a viewer, I am going to basically um, add animations, uh, shooting animations for our AI. So as you, uh, if you followed the last videos, we have our AI now um, shooting the player or their target or our companion. Then you're gonna adjust and flank to a new position to fire at us. And, uh, okay, so, what what we we're missing now is that they are kind of firing these line traces, but they mm, they're not playing any animation. They're just in idle pose. So what I'm gonna do right now is um, I'm gonna try and make them play some animation. But to work with this, I'm gonna have to go and get our Epic Games launcher. So just plug in. I'm just gonna pause until I get in. So now I've logged in, um, I'm gonna need you guys to go over into your Epic Games Launcher and find your Animation Starter Pack. Uh, you're gonna have to download that, but you, you can go into the Marketplace, I believe, and just search for Animation Starter Pack and click on Download, it's gonna download, and then it's gonna show over here on your library. You just click Add to Project, just find your project. Mine is a Companion AI tutorial, and then just click Add to Project, you're gonna be asked to accept this just go ahead and then it's gonna download your stuff and you know uh, place it in as you can see my internet is so fucking shit that it ain't even start downloading so I'm gonna pause and when I get this finished I'll get back to you okay guys so when it downloads you're probably gonna already uh, have on your Unreal Engine pro project if you go to your content folder you can see your random starter pack and all of the animations that come with them it's a very cool pack and comes with all, uh, a lot of animations for the Unreal Skeleton. But um, what I'm going to do now is basically going to go into the third person blueprint. Oh, it's not here. I probably is inside. Mm, where is it? Mannequin animations. There you go. Third person and MVP. You're going to need to open that up. And so, if you go over here into your anim graph, you're gonna see that you have idle run, and you're gonna have a blend space in it. So I'm gonna go. Uh, what I'm gonna do over here is that we got our default animations. You can Alt Control and click. I think. Uh, alt Shift. There you go. Alt Left Shift, and you can see the preview of the animations. But I'm gonna want to pick up these animations and uh, use some other. Uh, but before, as you can see, we don't have all of the animations that because uh, this pack over here comes with um, uh, basically it comes with their own skeleton. So I'm gonna have to go into our random star pack, find our wheel for mannequin, go into our mesh. You're gonna have our new mannequin. We can right click on it and we can create a new. Uh, anim blueprint. So I'm gonna call this, um, I guess, AI underscore anim BP. Double click that up. I'm now also gonna need to go into our third person, go into our viewport, click on our mesh, go into your skeletal mesh and use the other mannequin. Now go into the anim class and use your AI anim BP that we just created. Now with this, we're gonna be able to use our new animation, so you can compile and save that. Go to our, into our AI and MVP, and we can just quickly uh, create. Let me see. We can create a new state, I believe. Add a new state machine, which I'm just gonna call locomotion. connect that to the result. Now you can click that up and I'm going to create some new states. I'm gonna call this idle walk so I'm gonna make the AI walk um, go between idle and walk and walk for, to idle and then I'm gonna I, uh, able it to shoot. So I'm gonna create a new state. I'm gonna call this shoot and go back there you go, and connect, basically create ways to go for my level to shoot and shoot and back. So, when it looks like this. 
Now I'm gonna go into our idle animation, and now over here uh, on our filters we can go and and type in idle. Or I guess we don't have an idle. I don't know why. But we can just double click that, and it will. We will see. Um, that's interesting. Did I misspell idle? Yeah, I did. So we can just go over here and type idle in. There you go. And we can use idle rifle hip. Go into our walk and type walk in. Walk for rifle iron sights. Mm, that's interesting. Don't we have a normal walk? Let me just type in hip. Uh, that's interesting. I don't think we have a walk. Uh, okay, let's just use our insights then. Let's go into walk. Walk forward, rifle iron sight. That's fine. Let's go into the idle and use the iron sights one. Idle, rifle, iron sights. And then we just go into the shoot and find our shoot or fire, I guess. So fire rifle iron sights. There you go. Now we have plugged in our three animations. But no, oh, sorry about that. But now we need to set up um, our conditions. So when we want to go to one from another. But before before I do that, I'm going to go into the event graph. I'm going to get from the try get pawn owner. I'm going to get the velocity. I'm going to get, uh, I guess, vector length. Yeah, there you go. Vector length. And then I'm just going to right click on it and name it speed. There you go. And I'm going to go into our third person character and create a new variable and call this is shooting. And you compile that and save it. Go back into our AI and MVP. I'm going to go into our get, try to get pawn owner. I'm going to cast to our third person character. And then I'm going to get is shooting. And I'm going to right click promote the variable and call it the same is shooting. So now we have access to the information that we need. So the speed to know if we're idle or walking and if it's shooting. So we play the shooting animation. So let's go back into the locomotion. So from idle to walk, uh, this is going to trigger if the speed is basically bigger than 50 and from walk to idle this is going to trigger if the speed is smaller than 50 and basically to the shoot we're gonna check is shooting and just connect it to the result and do the same thing to the walk to shooting And now, uh, from the shooting to Avil, we get the shooting. Now we drag a knot boolean to connect that up. I can just control C that, go into the other part, shoot to walk, and do the same thing. Now if we compile and save, all the errors go away, and we have our NMBP ready uh, to what we need. So we can close that up. Now we just need to give um, the information that we want. And actually, I messed that up, I believe. Yeah, I messed that up. I didn't want to change the the third person, so I, I that's not good. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna have to open that up again. Sorry about that. I really forgot about it. I'm gonna go and find the IN and BP again. Through this, we do not want to just cast to the third person character, so I'm just gonna delete that. Going to our third person, sh third person character. Delete is shooting. Then we're going to need to go into our companion AI. 
get the second mannequin and get our AIN and BP. I'm going to the enemy AI, mesh, uh, change this to AIN and BP, and change, oh, sorry, and change the skeleton to the second one. Compile and save. Now I'm just going to need to change something a little bit different. Go to try to get pawn owner. I'm going to cast to my companion AI. And I'm going to double click this to create a reroute node. And I'm going to cast to the enemy AI. So if both of these, well, if the, if this the first cast fails, I'm going to cast to the other one. So for example, if this enemy BP is on the enemy AI, the companion AI will cast to fail and it will go to cast enemy AI, that will be true. Now you're going to need to go into the companion AI and call this is shooting. Go into the enemy AI and do the same. We can compile and save both of them. Now you go into the NMBP and basically do the same thing that we did uh, if we do the third person character. So just get is shooting. And then set is shooting over here again. And get is shooting. And that will be good. So compile and save. Now you're going to have to go into both of the companion AI. So I'm going to start by the companion AI. So this is what happens when we fire at a target. So basically, uh, if we go over here to the timer, we see that we fire every second. So basically, when we shoot, I'm going to do a delay, first of all. And this delay will have one second, I believe. Well, I guess, no, it will have the time of the animation. So, for me to check that, I'm going to go over to animations on, on the mannequin. Actually, uh, anim star pack and find the, sh the fire. Then we can have our fire rifle iron sights. And we can now see the time over here. So, it's 0 0.233. So, go over here. Do a delay. Do 0. 0.233, there you go. Then, first of all, we're going to set is shooting to true. Also, drag from the cast fail, because if the cast fails, we are shooting anyway. Then, connect that to the delay, and basically go to is shooting, Ooh. and make that false again. You can just drag this in, Control c go into the enemy AI, to where we do that and you can just go over here and you can connect over here to his shooting and you can also connect it from over here there you go And I guess that's it, I think. So let's compile that and save that and see how it looks. So we're going to have that on our uh, over here, uh, on our third person character. But as you can see, he's playing the animation. It's a little bit smaller, so you can really notice it. And uh, you can see that our companion is doing the same thing. There you go. It's kind of, you know, you can really notice the animations because now we'll, we we kind of need um, so like a rifle in his end and some sound and special effects. But as you can see, uh, every time a, l a new line appears, you can see that he plays the animation. And other animations as the walk, you can kind of see that they also work. There you go. That's interesting. 
yeah so with this uh, I think I'm gonna leave that video here because uh, I did what I wanted I uh, the viewer asked if you could, could like add um, a shooting animation that's what I did uh, if you want to see you know how to add like a weapon in his hand and um, you know kind of spawn a particle effect or something you can let me know in the comments but uh, if you don't ask for anything in the next one I probably just gonna create um, I think as I said in the last one on this series create a new I, I don't know like damage and respawn system I guess so yeah thank you guys so much for watching and I'll say, see you all in the next one bye bye